What has uh, your off season been like other than getting engaged, which is uh, awesome? Very low key. Um, it's been a while since I've been back home, so I've just kind of been able to enjoy home and then the engagement and started planning and all that stuff. So what it's was been a more nerve wracking? Proposing to Madison or proposing. like batting in any yeah, massive proposing. situation? I don't even, I blacked out, you know, I had the whole game plan going into it and I don't remember a single thing I said. <laughs> Not one word. Well, what? you must have said something right. She I, said yes. She said yes, that's all that matters. <laughs> but was it a long pause before the yes or was it a right away? Well, we because I'll tell her. you, it feels like the long Yeah, we should ask her. Come here. Yeah, we should ask her. There we go. All right, not to put you on the spot. I'll give her the but mic. But I want to, I want, yeah, go with Jerry's mic. All right, so Corey, I don't Look know if you guys rock. know this, but Corey's not the most public guy in the world. He's a very, very private guy, but these guys have been together for a very long time. So there was a trip to Boston planned, correct? Because you guys were going to go see, for some reason, this guy likes Tom Brady. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to go see the Pats. Going to go see the Pats trouble. play. Hey, he might come here, guys. He might come <laughs> here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> So you guys were going to go see the Pats, but you had something else planned. How did it go down, Maddie? Oh, the whole thing? Uh, you want me to do it? Yeah. I got it. All right. So basically, if I would have told her, hey, let's go to dinner back home, you know, she'd have been like, why? You haven't done that in five years we've been dating. <laughs> like, so she would have known something was going to happen. So I kind of had to plan it around that. And um, we went to a park, and we had to be there at a specific time because uh -huh. she wanted the photographer, and she started picking up on it. and. I had the ring on me actually all day, and at one point, she, yeah, she asked me if I was bored at one point. I was like, <laughs> no, I'm good. You know, like I just I couldn't even look at her. You know, like if I look at her, she's gonna know it's coming. So, but it was good. You know, we went to a park. Uh, there was actually a couple behind us, and I knew where I wanted to do it, and I knew where the photographer was, and I didn't want them in the put or in the picture. So I stepped in a puddle on purpose, Aww. and it's like 20 degrees, so my foot is frozen <laughs> at this point. And, you know, did it, don't remember it, and saw the pictures, and it was great. So could you believe that he actually planned a photographer? Yeah. No, I, I mean, this I guy can't shocked. even plan dinner. I know. I know. No, right? I was, was shocked. one thing. I told but her I'll plan it. one thing. He couldn't find her, though. Do you remember no, what he said to you when he asked? Um, I know after he thanked me for saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was my one thing. I said, if you say no, even mess with me. I'm not asking again. Like, it's never happening again. So, yeah. Well, congratulations yeah. to both of you. Quick, wait, was it a quick yes? That's what I want to know. Was it a quick yes? It was or a very quick yeah. yes, because yes, I knew yeah. he was nervous. Uh, I didn't want to make him wait uh, too that's long. Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. congratulations. Very cool. Can't wait, to, <laughs> can't wait to see all the pictures. Congratulations, guys. All right, so that was nerve-wracking. You got that out of the way. Yep. Then at what point in the off-season do you start focusing on baseball? Um, you know, this was earlier for me. Um, I didn't have to like worry about fixing anything. You know, I had no lingering issues. So about probably a week to two weeks after the season, I started training. So I was kind of excited to do it. I didn't really get to have a real off season last year. So it's been good. Can you tell the fans also a little bit? Because one thing is physical. We all know, okay, you're trying, you're, you're healing an injury. But what was it like just mentally and emotionally to be going to this off season that way? Yeah, exactly. Um, it's a completely different outlook. You know, last year was, God, how do I just get back on the field? How do I do this? You know, you're, you're in the clubhouse, but you're, you're not, you don't really feel a part of it, you know, and then getting back in there, getting a part of it, getting reestablished, I guess you'd say in there. And then going in this off season was much easier, you know, and now it's just about getting stronger and all that other stuff. You know, describe your workout routine. You know, obviously you're always in great shape but the last couple of years, you're kind of battling injuries, but now you're completely hundred percent uh, what was your, your training been like? Is it more weight training, maybe a little bit more running, or swinging the bat? Um, it's been a lot more weight training. Um, just not being able to really do it the last couple of years has been, it's tough. You know, you feel it during the year. You know, you have those points where you don't feel strong and stuff like that because you didn't get to do it. So it's been a lot more of that, a lot more like feeling the ground, you know, feeling strong again and being ready to go. What was it like for you being able to take a step back? Because before Cody came on the scene, you were my everyday interview, where's Corey, where's Corey, where's Corey? I mean, you're Rookie of the Year. There's a reason. We come to you all the time. Cody comes up, and you're like, oh, thank God. I don't have to do phenomenal. interviews anymore. Now, yeah, we get to kind of, now we can kind of split it between the two of you. But what was it like from a teammate perspective, from a friend perspective, taking a step back and watching Cody do what he did? It was a lot more enjoyable on that side, I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you, you know, being able to watch the interviews and not be a part of them. Um, speaking is not my forte, so <laughs> I like right. being on the other side. But, you know, you, you're happy for him, you know, it's, it's exciting um, kind of being in his footsteps and knowing what it was like and being able to enjoy it even more 
on the other side of it. You know, you, sometimes you get caught up in it and you, you don't be able to get to kind of be in the moment and being able to just watch him go out and do what he's done the last couple of years, it's, it's, it's pretty impressive. You know, people get, people take that for granted on how good he actually is and being able to just sit back and watch is fun.